so yesterday, obviously, I'm sure you've seen that Tyson Fury had his final press conference ahead of the Usyk fight. And I did ask him, would, would there be a possibility that Usyk could be presented with step-aside money and the Fury-AJ fight could happen? And he said, absolutely not. What world would Usyk do that if he was to lose against Fury? Do you think it could be possible because the money that the Saudis are throwing well, is crazy? Anything's possible. But we do know, of course, they have a two-fight deal. I guess that's what's going to happen. That someone could get injured, someone could break their hand, anything could happen. But it's very likely we're going to see the two fights. I think we're all living hope that AJ can jump in and we hope that Fury can beat Usyk. But I think AJ's next fight will be for the world title. Um, but let's see what happens on May the 18th. I know Bob Aaron mentioned about the possibility of that fight, the Fury-AJ fight, taking place at Wembley. Now, Fury's answer to that would be, why, if His Excellency is paying around the figure of 200 million, Fury's words, not mine, why would he want to stage it in the UK? Now, it could be a two-fight deal, couldn't it? I mean, it's all a lot of ifs, you know. I mean, firstly, that fight's not even made. But, you know, His Excellency is, is the man um, leading that ship in terms of, those fighters and, and that potential fight. So it would be down to him. Um, but again, pie in the sky at the moment because we have to see what happens May the 18th. I know a lot of people got excited by Conor Ben and Pacquiao facing off in Saudi. Obviously, his situation is ongoing. Do you expect that fight to happen at some point? It would obviously be in Riyadh, wouldn't it? No, not necessarily. I mean, we'd like it to take place in the UK as well. It's there to happen. But until there's clarity on his situation, we're just really treading water. Um, till we can make his next fight. Would you have Ben as the favourite heading into that one? Yes. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul as well. That's causing a massive stir. Obviously, it's an exhibition, no head guards. Who do you see getting the better of that fight? I mean, who knows? I mean, you'd have to say Jake Paul is, what, in his mid-20s and Tyson, Mike Tyson's nearly 60. So, yeah. Canelo Munguia as well. It's an amazing fight. Munguia is so exciting to watch every time he brings it. Do you think he has the capabilities to give Canelo a lot of trouble and hurt him? I think it's a good fight. You know, Jaime's young. He's competitive. I, I don't think he'll be good enough to beat Canelo. But I think, you know, he's going to push him. He's going to try. It's a good style matchup for Canelo. And looking forward to watching it all live on the zone. Final one from me. I know you are good friends with Conor McGregor. I don't know if you got round to watching Roadhouse yet. If you did, what did you make of his performance? And could we see you try your hand at acting? Well, I don't think I'll be getting my top off like he did, but uh, I haven't seen the film yet. I understand it's doing very, very well. Conor McGregor, you know, Conor McGregor, I say he's been acting his whole career, but that's, he's a showman. And if you're a showman, you can act. So therefore, don't rule it out for me either. There we go.